Hey, Matthew. Do the chickens have large talons? I didn't understand a word you just said. All right, Matthew, what are you thinking about today? Well, I was thinking we could do something with raptors. Raptors? You mean like dinosaurs? Yeah, Dad. Dinosaurs. Birds of prey, or raptors, are birds with incredible predatory abilities and can be found all over the world, including the United States. In order for a bird to qualify as a raptor, it must have four distinct attributes. Number one, all raptors are carnivores. Number two, all raptors must have super sharp eyesight so they can spot their prey. Number three, all raptors have sharp, curved talons to grab their prey. And number four, all raptors have a sharp, hooked beak to tear into their meal. All right, now that I know you're talking about birds, what do you have in mind? Well, I found this really cool place where they not only help you learn about raptors, but they also heal injured ones that come there and release them back into the wild. But no dinosaurs? No dinosaurs. They went away a long time ago. Along the back roads of southwestern Ohio sits a red barn on eight acres, dedicated to the preservation and rehabilitation of the region's birds of prey. Executive Director Cindy Alberson and Associate Director Jackie Bray spent some time showing us around Raptor Incorporated and sharing a little bit about the organization's purpose. Okay. We have two different enclosures here at Raptor Incorporated because we have uh, essentially two missions. We have um, an education component where we try to educate the public on the importance of these birds of prey and some of the really cool adaptations that help them survive in the wild. Also, we do rehabilitation, so if there's an ill or injured bird of prey from our local community, they can bring it to us. We will do our best to rehabilitate it, um, nurse it back to health, and get it back out to the wild where it belongs. The first enclosure we visited was home to Raptor Inc.'s ambassadors, birds who permanently call Raptor Incorporated home. Well, currently we are inside the enclosures at Raptor Incorporated, and inside here we have 12 of our education birds. These are the birds that go out uh, to programs or on tours, birds that we received at Raptor Incorporated and we rehabilitated, and they were with us as their permanent home. The birds that live here suffered serious enough injuries that, although they survived, they can't be released back into the wild safely. So they live here at Raptor Inc. as educational ambassadors. This is our barred owl, named him Spencer because he actually came from Spencer, Ohio. Um, at the Raptor Centers, received him, this bird was injured. They thought he had one blind eye and was losing his hearing. Hearing is really important for owls. That's, uh, how, that's how they mainly hunt, correct? It is, it is. For owls, hearing is the most important part. So they did not have a home for him, and so we were able to get the proper state and federal permission to be able to transfer this owl to our facility. We met other birds like Spencer who had been hit by cars or shot by hunters and had been rehabilitated and cared for to the point where they can now help others learn about raptors and their unique adaptations and challenges. One bird new to Raptor Inc. is Eli, a bald eagle seriously injured near Lake Erie who is currently in the process of becoming an ambassador. There's very, uh, there's uh, not near as many facilities that are permitted to have a bald eagle. So it's, a, it's quite a daunting process. Um, and if, if they couldn't have found a place for him, then uh, he would have been euthanized. While some birds like Eli will live a long life here, other birds will spend their time here in a different enclosure, inching closer and closer to release. We're getting ready to enter one of our rehabilitation enclosures. These enclosures are pretty special and pretty important. Um, the back enclosure is the last step that birds uh, get moved to prior to their release. So we get them on camera making that hard bank uh, in the enclosure and seeing that they can go from the ground straight up to that perch. Once we see that they've built a lot of uh, conditioning where they're nice and healthy, healthy, they're ready for release. Since Raptor Incorporated's goal is to release all injured birds back into the wild, this enclosure is what Jackie refers to as the good news enclosure. This is our large conditioning uh, flight enclosure. It uh, has 13 foot perches high and it's got a 140 foot flyway. We've got cameras at both ends so we can uh, 
get, catch on camera the bird's uh, flight ability and their ability to make that hard bank. Currently, um, we have four red-tailed hawks and two red-shouldered hawks that are building conditioning. And uh, once uh, we determine that their flight ability is normal and that they have the proper uh, physical conditioning, then they'll be ready to be released. Wow, that is cool. Yeah, this is, this is probably my favorite place at our facility. Another great part of Raptor Inc. is the educational facility, where they allow the community to learn about what makes birds of prey so special and so impressive. So this is a red-tailed hawk where you can see where it's nice and broad. Um, this is the foot of a red-tailed hawk, and you can see it's pretty powerful. It's meant, it's meant for a snatch and grab, correct? That's it. And they have very um, scaly type skin on their feet compared to like the owls that were covered in feathers. Oh wow, it's down. super smooth. Mm -hmm. Whether it's rehabilitating injured birds or educating the community about the importance of birds of prey, Raptor Incorporated remains a refuge for animals in need of a hand and a launching point for those birds who get a second chance. You know, Raptor Incorporated was a pretty cool place. What was your favorite part? I really liked the good news enclosure because not only did I get to see the red-tailed hawks flying around, but that means that the birds are that much closer to being released. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They told me that 300 birds are going to be brought in this year, and so anytime one can be released back into the wild, that's a pretty awesome thing. Yep. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon so that you're up to date with all of our latest videos. And leave us a comment to tell us about your experience with raptors, birds or dinosaurs. Either one.